Okay, guys, we are back on uh, the crap pack, or well, the crap pack tutorial, and uh, this basically recorded right after that one. But uh, today, we're gonna, I'm going to be showing you how to process ores. There's many ways uh, you could do it. Like, you could uh, use pulverizers connected to restaurant furnaces or any kind of smelting uh, factories. You could use those. You can use induction smelters with like sand and stuff to triple sometimes but I'm gonna show you how I uh, usually old process now it, this can't work with all ores but most it can like basic uh, ores it can't like work with like Oz Magica 2 it can't work uh, with I think I don't think it can work with what is it called I don't think it can't work with the uh, yellow light so the best way to do yellow light is to pulverize and then uh have and then smelt it so you can get double. Uh so basically wait huh, let's get Yeah, let's just do that. So wait huh, let's get a uh creative energy cell. So what you gotta wanna do, hold on, let's get a redstone conduit. Gonna want okay, so hold on. Oh god, I hate being sick. <coughs> Let me get a drink of water real quick. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do is uh to triple or double your ores, uh you're gonna want to put the ores in a enrichment chamber and then run it through I any kind of smelting thing you could have it run through a uh pulverizer i mean uh in a, uh, in a western furnace or you could have it run through a factory for smelting or energized smelter which is slow but you can add uh energy sp things into it so i'm gonna do that and then i am also gonna grab uh two stacks of these and then uh, energy upgrades. I I'm gonna show you what the different where are they? At? I don't know. They're there. I'm gonna show you what the difference is between these. So this is two W's. Uh, you put this here. You connect it to some kind of power. Let's get. Oops. Hello. Oops. Enrichment chamber here. Okay. So. And then you can, uh, oh yeah, okay, so either you can do, let's just get like impulse item ducts. You could either do item ducts coming out, but you still need the, like, the uh, configuration for this, but I'll show you that in a second. You could do that, and then have it like that, or you could just put them right next to each other, which is what I'm going to do. Uh, so basically, the configuration, you can see this is green, uh, you can have batteries come in, and then when they get drained, go out, or I think, yeah. I think that's how that works. You got red up here, which is input, and this is output. So what you're gonna want to do is, so if you want input to be top, you can shift left click all these to get it uh, empty. Uh, you can right click or left click, uh, and you get dark red. So that's input top. You need to have inject on, which is the A, uh, and blue is the output. So you're gonna want to. Uh, get it to blue and that will automatically output this now same for this uh, but you're gonna want to have dark red come in there and I guess where you will output to the uh, that side so let's get real quick uh, let's get a diamond chest oh, uh, not you I don't think I don't know if they will, I know it will output, but I don't know if it will input straight from there. But, okay, so let's get some, uh, let's get some ores. Uh, how do you, hold on. Speed. No, wait, hold on. I should probably just use the, uh, energy upgrade. There's energy upgrade. There was. Okay, so let's get all these in here. Uh, let's get, like, let's get 
uh, one stack of iron ore. So if we put this in here, no, it will not output. Okay. So what you can do, uh, you can actually have a uh, you can have impulse item ducks or whatever you want. So you can have impulse item ducks. Whoops, coming from there. Uh, you can have it set off. So we put C4 in there. It will go in here. Now they are kind of loud, but see how so it is. And it uses 20 hours per tick. If we put in eight speed upgrades, every speed upgrade it knocks it up by 16. I think, if I remember. So every time we put one of these, it will do it. So uh, when you put, see how fast it's going though. Uh, we can also put. Some more, and we can put those in there. But when you have all eight, and it's 2000, but put eight energy upgrades in there. And like the uh, speed is like two in which alloys you get by making by, by putting iron and redstone in the uh, metal and so fuse to connect to power. You do two of those with two glass, I think, and one osmium dust, which you can pulverize to get that. But now it only need 200, so it knocks it down by, I think, uh, 100? Yeah, 100. I'll have to take every time it does that. So, like you said, this will W O, so you will get two stacks out of that. Uh, so basically, you can have that, or if you want to triple your O's, you can actually have. Uh, let, let, let me get that. We need a Ocu why, why am I going there? Oculus accumulator. We need this. This. Uh, we need water bucket. You can have a. Oculus accumulator. Let me get a block. You could have multiple Oculus accumulators. Like, uh, I don't think you need to go overboard with this because it's not really uh, that much water it's going to be getting or it's going to be really transporting. Uh, but you're going to need water to pump into a. Uh, one of these guys that we already saw so hold on, let me get one of these so you need it to pump in there and then uh, you need to actually have power going to that so this will get power it would create oxygen and hydrogen we want the hydrogen to jump or uh, dump I mean whoops uh, and then we can get uh, whoops pressurized tubes which is actually uh, like basically air ducts like th it's like air pipes from uh okay you spell them there there push uh air pipes from a uh, mechanism so you need these to pump into a uh purificate purification chamber enrichment chamber husband compressor combiner Purification chamber, you're gonna need that to pump in there, and you're also gonna need a uh, power coming off or coming to it. Uh, and then, like I said, you can do inputs, outputs, however you want. And then, a uh, purification chamber will then go into a uh, what was that at? Crusher. The crusher, uh, like this is a tripling yours. Crusher will go into a enrichment chamber and then. The enrichment chamber goes into some kind of smarting. Uh, so that's how you triple your ores. Uh, but if you want something fast, like, uh, like okay, so if you uh, basically have what I have in a uh, crack pack, which is like I put stuff in a chest, it gets inputted uh, to like all kinds of these. It, I want to do elite, but not right now. But these advanced factories, uh, I do triple, so I will get purifying, which is the uh, the, the purification chamber. I'll have uh, the oxygen pump in from like three rows tall, and like twelve oxygen accumulators feeding those. Like twelve rows tall, tall of like eight of these. So no, not twelve. Uh, four rows tall of eight of these, and 
those will feed oxygen in these and then I'll just have outputs uh, going from each of these uh, to the to the next type which is basically this order I just showed you right here so I just have that and just basically what I do is I'll just put like a diamond chest uh, going for input to this one first and then the rest but then I like have uh, if I because I have an ME system I do like ME uh, input buses or input buses with uh, precision because then you move stacks at a time uh, I'll have that on that and then uh, it will automatically get I don't know why I did that. It'll automatically get uh, imported to my ME system. So this is just a quick little video uh, or tutorial on how to basically triple your orders and basically a setup I have on Crap Pack. Now I this is what I did at the beginning, but like I said, I have these factories that get inputted from my chest up top and like uh, on my main story, not like my uh, basement, my energy basement, but my main story. It will get inputted to these with the uh, oxygen coming in. It will go to the next step, which is the uh, crushing, which is right here, and then the enriching, and then the smelting. With and they all have a energy and speed upgrades in them. So that's basically just how to double and triple your ores. Now, if you want to, uh, I guess I can show you real quick how to basically get well how to get four ing okay so if you put one iron ore you get four ingots now the reason I don't like this is because I can't really under well I understand just it's kinda weird uh, I guess I can show you that real quick let me see so you need uh let's uh, get rid of this So you need water pumping. Hold on, let's get a uh, let's get fluid duct. Oops. Uh, creative energy cell. Redstone. Can't do it. Uh, where's it? At? Okay. So basically, what you're gonna want to do uh, is you're gonna want to have a uh, well, Oculus Accumulator is pumping into a salination plant. You're going to want to have those pump into a salination plant, which uh, you can actually make. It, it can lag your server, but hold on. You're going to want to have a salination controller. You're going to want valves. Uh, you're also going to want uh, salination blocks. So you're going to have this pump, the water pump, into a salination plant, which is a four by four uh, base. Well, it has a four by four base of these. And then these will go around here. Uh, you can make it as tall as you want, it doesn't really matter. Uh, the more layers, the higher the maximum temperature of the salination can, uh, plant can maintain, and in turn, the higher the brain production uh, rate, and you'll figure out there uh, in a minute. So you're gonna just want to. Uh, I wonder if my. I wonder if a building. If, they, if these will work. Oh yeah, it will. Okay, that's mine. Let's just do it like this, and then what you're gonna want to. Whoops. And then we're gonna what you wanna do, or what you're gonna wanna do, uh, is you're gonna want to place uh, two of these, one for water and one one for water input, one for uh, what is it called, brine output. Uh, and then you're gonna want the top layer to actually be like this. You're gonna want to uh, oops. You're gonna want to have a controller, and then you're gonna want to have a uh, one advanced solar. Hold on, advanced solar generator in each corner. Hold on, I gotta figure out. 
They need to be connecting. Whoops. Hello. So you're gonna want that. Okay. Uh incomplete. You should be complete. Hold on. Let me go in here. Hold on, let me uh, get these. You're going to want to uh, have fluid ducts pumping water into uh, this. You don't even, oh, hello. You don't even need that one. It should work. I don't know. Hold on, let me, uh, okay, wait, so this is brine, this is, wait, build, oh, okay, wait, hold on, I should build it, I don't know why he's, oh, okay, hold on, oops, hello, get back there, there we go, okay, so, that's like that, uh, it is collecting water. Uh, you could have more than those. You gotta click that. I forgot. I didn't know that. So this is your water input. Uh, this is gonna be the heat, and this is gonna be the brine output. You can already see it's kind of uh, making some brine. Uh, what you're gonna want to do? Or uh, wait, is, no, that yeah, that's the uh, heat, the temperature. So after you do that, you're gonna want to uh, okay, to go wait, hold on. Okay, so then you're gonna want to uh, have this get pumped into uh, a a really? Does it really need to be pumped into that? I guess it does. Hydrogen and chlorine. Wait. Electric water using electric. Wait, hold on. Okay. Using water and brine used by hydrogen generator for power, jetpack for fuel, all mode. Okay, so you're going to want to have this uh, actually use water and. No, I think we need the pressurized tubes for this. Or at least, for, yeah. Logical transporter. I think we're gonna need. No? Okay. Um, okay. Do we have mechanical pipes? They said that we can uh, use these, so we will try. Oh, okay, wait, hold on. You gotta click it with empty hand. RF. Hey, hold on. Power. Yeah, and then you, uh, you can have, uh, Oculus accumulators actually pump in water this. Uh, hold on. Wait, do we have a creative... I wonder what creative portable tank. Like that's what I, that's actually kind of what I want. Cause I'm tired of actually. I don't know. Let's get a uh, fluid duct going in there. I need. Oh, okay. I probably shouldn't done that. Mechanism. We need a uh, crescent hammer. Wow. Well, 
Oh wait, hold on, I don't need to do that. I need to do that. So that's uh so basically you pump water into it. Uh you should be able to pump brine into it. I don't exactly know how. Stop it. Yeah, see I don't know exactly how to pump brine into it. That's the only reason. See, it's not being outputted. That's the only thing. Uh. So basically, okay. If you can, so you can look up another tutorial because I haven't done this. Uh, I don't. They, because they, they said this can be a little bit laggy, uh, especially if you got a lot of the other things going on. Uh, so basically, you just have this. Uh, with uh, the the brine and water get pumped into this, makes hydrogen and chlorine. Uh, that goes into a chemical infuser, makes, uh, hydrogen and chlorine, like, combines them and makes that one. Uh, then you have hydrogen and chlorine and one raw oil in a chemical injection chamber. And then you have that, the stuff, the shards that gets made from that, uh, with oxygen pumped into a purification chamber, then crusher, then the whisper chamber, and then energized smelter, or, like, a rest on floor or anything like that. So you can go, you you can always go on the mechanism with oh god hello Hold on, let me take another drink you can always go on the mechanism wiki and uh t uh just basically search uh well, I don't know what to say you should just go if you ever need uh just help uh setting it up. Go on the mechanism wiki and then look. Uh, scroll down the official one and then scroll down and you'll see old processing. Just click on that and then it'll, t it'll tell you the tiers and how much it produces. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, this is gonna be the end. Uh, I think next episode either I'm gonna show you how I get all my ores or how I get my power. I think I'll do the ores and then the power. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like on this video. My name is Critical, and I'll see y'all next time.